Well, the Bakersfield National Cemetery will hold its annual Memorial Day ceremony tomorrow morning, and among those honored will be fallen Kern County Sheriff's Deputy Philip Campus, who fell in the line of duty during a hostage situation in Wasco last summer. 23 ABC's Kristen Barton has the details on how Campus and its fellow veterans will be honored in tomorrow's ceremony. The Bakersfield National Cemetery will host their very first ceremony open to the public for Memorial Day since 2019. But this year is also significant for the loved ones of a particular veteran and officer, fallen Sheriff Deputy Philip Campus. And that's because this year is the first Memorial Day his family will share with Campus interred at the Bakersfield National Cemetery since last summer. The president of the Bakersfield National Cemetery Support Committee knows his family well, and his son and Campus were once friends. He says the fact that campus is being one of the thousands of veterans honored at the ceremony brings strong emotions. It's surreal. Um, Philip's dad, Jesse, and I were friends for years, even before Philip was born. And I knew Philip growing up as a kid. He worked for us in high school at our tire store, Taylor Tire and Brake. He worked when he was a senior at high school and a quarterback at East High. So he worked part time there. Then he joined the Marine Corps follow the footsteps of his father after Bakersfield College with the Marine Corps. Taylor recalls how campus served in Afghanistan and other capacities in the Marine Corps as a drill instructor and served as one in Paris Island in South Carolina, eventually leaving the Marine Corps to join the Kern County Sheriff's Office and serving on the SWAT team where he was ultimately killed during a hostage situation in Wasco. It's one of those guys that makes you want to run a little faster and stand up a little bit taller and do a better job at whatever you do and uh, always had a smile with these great looking dimples that uh, that he had uh, those are hard to forget it's that memory and the legacy of those that have served us that taylor says we need to remember all year round not just on memorial day and weekend the kcso honor guard will also be honoring campus's memory with a special demonstration dedicated to the fallen deputy. Family and friends who would like to personally put the flag on their loved one's site can do so between 7 a.m. to 8.30 on Saturday, and then the public ceremony will take place at 9 a.m. In Arvin, Kristen Barton, 23 ABC News, connecting you.